Okay guys, a little update on my solar tracker and what I intend to control it with. This right here is my solar uh, solar tracker controller. Okay, this is one I got online. It's a dual axis uh, controller. So it does have the uh, east, west, north, and south settings. Okay, and then this is your quit and set. So if you want to uh, move it for whatever reason, you can use these controls to to move it. My old one has, actually has a remote. This one doesn't. So, uh, and of course, these are the lights that are going, I'm assuming will light up. I haven't powered it up yet, but I'm getting it ready. And, of course, this right here is a box that I've picked out to house it. I wanted to be able to see what's going on. This right here is actually a charger, uh, and it's a solar charge controller. Okay, just a cheap one I got off eBay. I'm trying to few these out just to see. And this is specifically made for lead acid. And what it is, I have a um, SLA battery, just a small 12 SLA. It's what's set right here. And this is deep enough to where uh, I've done check to see if it'd fit. This right here will set here. And I'm going to mount all these to a piece of plywood. And then, of course, this one's going to be mounted up close to the top. And then, then I'm going to decide somewhere uh, either on the side or something like that to bore some holes and to bring in all the wiring and then I'll seal it up with silicone. But anyways, uh, basically the power will come in to power this. This will uh, has an output that goes to uh, a small solar panel here. If you can see it, I got a little 10 watt panel and what it'll do, it will be mounted and sticking out just enough to be able to get sunlight to uh, basically charge the battery that'll be mounted below it and then this right here will control the the voltage as far as charging and discharging so this will supply power up to this this will run on 12 to 24 volts this right here is the output so basically if this right here senses that the battery is getting too low then it will cut off power to this controller okay so this is just basically is going to limit the charge and discharge it will actually i think it goes up to 14.1 or 14.2 volts for the sla and uh, i've been using it for about a year and of course I'm, I'm switching it from the one i've got which has been on a four by four post to my steel one so this is going to get wired up to this and then all the controls get wired up to this here it is a east west north south tracker and also it has a anemometer that can be connect, connected to it. I do have that as well. And that will be adding to it. That way if the wind's blowing too hard, then uh, my panels will level out. So um, I'll show you real quick what I've got going on out here. Uh, the last video, I didn't have this up. But I do have uh, the post upright, the east-west, sections are uh up as well and then of course the you see, you see the pieces going across or for the solar panel these are mounting rails and of course these right here run across those and uh right now i have <laughs> kind of funny looking but what it is i've strapped two before to these and what it is is I'm going, I ain't done it yet, but I'm going to do some testing on range before I actually drill any holes and mount anything. So there's no point in drilling and mounting if I'm just going to have to turn around and move things. So I just strapped two befores on there, got them mounted temporarily, and then I can remove them, uh, uh, actually move them independently, which I have been a little bit, and testing to make sure they're working properly and uh, making sure the range is going to work for what I want. And so far, looking really good. So uh, I have tilted it quite a bit to the east and west, which is that one. And of course, this one here on the front will be my north-south. And uh, right now, you know, with the anemometer, once it's in place, this will be the position it should put it into, which I'll do testing before I ever put all this out and make sure everything is working properly. And then I will basically replace my other one which is wooden and only can hold two panels this one will be able to hold all four of my panels so it'll be just a hair over a kilowatt and these right here uh if everything works out i'll probably put a second and maybe a third one and uh have you know quite a bit of power coming in almost off be able to go off grid with my home 
And so this will hold four panels, uh, it should hold up to possibly even 300 uh, watt panels. Uh, I'm going to leave it a little bit on the wide side as far as these. And I know the length is, is going to be okay. I have 270 watts, 300, 350 watts are not going to be much bigger. So if you guys want to go uh, with something like that, it, it will be able to handle it. Uh, of course, you know, I got to do testing to make sure the weight distribution is going to be okay and that these will be able to push the weight. Um, these 18 inch uh, actuators, uh, they have about an 18, almost a 19 inch push and pull. So uh, they're a little bit more, I think, on the push strength than they are the pull. So uh, that won't be that big a deal on the north south, but the east west, I think, will. So I want to make sure I got that in a position where it will have the most strength. You know, I want the travel to be there, but also I don't want to overweight the uh, cylinder to where it will wear out quickly. So, you know, I know the, the more I move it in, that gives you more twist, but it also, it's going to take away from its strength. Okay, so uh, I can, you know, I can adjust this one up or down a little bit, but I think the most is going to change over here. So right now, uh, once I get some get some time, and it, right now it's kind of grabbing some pretty cold weather and my garage is not heated, so I've not been messing with it a whole lot. But anyways, uh, that's gonna be some testing I'm gonna do as soon as I get all of the, my uh, brackets. I, got, I do got four more uh, two inch brackets to clamp my solar uh, rails. And of course I'm gonna measure them out and get them all square. I'm very OCD on that. But uh, once I get all them mounted, then I'm gonna do some tests east and west and then as i showed you in there the controller and i'll hook it all up and run some testing with just some lighting in here and then of course use a hair dryer or something rather to blow the anemometer and see how it reacts and uh, once i get some of that done i will do another video update and uh, if you guys like this do a thumbs up subscribe let me know what you think and uh, i also will be doing an update before too long on my power wall setup. Uh, this is my power wall and this is the batteries I'm using. And this is the style that we've been using for a while. Uh, this is something that Jehu Garcia came up with and um, it does work fairly well, but the expense that I'm spending on the boards and the standoffs and all this stuff, I could be spending more money on batteries. So I'm gonna try a different route and I'm gonna try the Batrium balancer so it's a battery management software and a system that will work on a uh, different style setup so that's probably what we're going to be going to as far as that that's my mpp solar controller love it it's been the best fit for me uh, my house is basically on backup power consistently right now it's all these circuits here are up that means all those systems there which is basically, it's hard to see it, but it's my kitchen, living room, uh, dining room, and my bedroom and bathroom are all on backup power. So uh, whether the house has power or not, all that it will automatically start running off the batteries. They run off the batteries throughout the day as long as we got sun and or wind because I got a wind turbine speeding energy to that. So uh, eventually I want to have at least uh, one of these and then Probably if everything works out by next fall, I may have two of these in my yard and uh, been thinking about seriously, maybe even selling them. So uh, once I get the design kind of perfected and, and I know everything is going to be last lasting a while, I want this to be an affordable option for people. And so, uh, especially, you know, around here, I, they, they, we do have a fair amount of power outages due to storms and the storm uh, seasons, you know, and, um, you know, it, it's, it's really no fun, especially when you got people that rely on medical devices for, you know, and of course you've been seeing all this stuff happening out in California. Uh, that's, that's horrible, you know? Uh, so, uh, I'd like to be able to make something that's really affordable for people that they could have, if anything, just, uh, overnight, you know, power supply. And then by the next day, your panels will 
for sure get you back up and going and you'll have lights and power to run uh, medical devices, your internet, and just a few other things. So, and, and you don't have to spend 10, 15, 20 years paying for it. So anyways, that's it for today. So like I said, subscribe, uh, like, and uh, if you want to do a, uh, uh, make some comments, uh, I don't mind it. We all learn from it. So you guys take care. Have a great day.